So guys, today I have a special treat for you. Okay, it's a place that I really love in the city of Xi'an. And it's right behind me. It's the Saga It Mall. Now, what's the Saga It Mall? It's basically a huge mall just for technology stuff. So if you want to buy a phone, a gaming PC, a console, video games, all that stuff happens in there. It's five, six floors just of tech stuff. Okay, so we're going to walk through it. I'm going to have to stay a bit low-key as much as I can. So I'm going to do the whole thing in first person. Um, and I'm going to put a mask on. Because with my mask, as you will see in a second, I'm barely recognizable as a Western person. Right, let me put it on with one hand, like an idiot. There we go. A lot of people wear masks around here, okay? So I'm gonna walk through like this with my phone very close to my belly. And hopefully not many people recognize that I'm filming and that I'm a Western guy, okay? So let's go, let's check this out. It's gonna be wild. And again, just to give you guys a bit of context, I'm going to do a little bit of a voiceover. Now, I lied unintentionally in my introduction. There are four floors, not five or six. So this is the ground floor, and it's mostly reserved for big brands, okay? The pres prestigious brands, the Apples, the Samsungs, the Huaweis. And you may wonder, like, do they sell fake products? If I go to Apple in this place, will I get a real phone? 100% is the answer, okay? There are no fakes in a place like this, especially when it comes to the big brands. They definitely make sure that everything here is real and authentic. Now, coming up to the first floor, by the way, I skipped the ground floor because, you know, looking at an Apple or Samsung store is probably not very interesting. Coming up to the first floor, it's all about office computing. And by the way, the mural you're about to see here on the right-hand side that's a real mural. Someone painted that on the wall with paint. It's not a print. I was quite impressed by that. It's pretty cool. Anyway, so you can see there's Dell, there's Lenovo, there's HP, there's Asus selling computers, selling, you know, desktop computers, but also uh, laptops. And I think the reason why that is, is they stack these floors based on priority, meaning most people who come to this place just look for an office computer, right? So they put that on the first floor. So all your office computing needs are met on this floor and as you can see the place is absolutely huge there's an overwhelming amount of choice of what computer and laptop and brand you could go for it's not just the computers it's also scanners it's printers it's anything you could possibly need uh, for your your office needs so i thought it's quite interesting i mean look around how many different printers there are on the left hand side and there are lots of brands i've never heard of right so it's an incredible broad choice of, of computers and printers and scanners and anything you might need uh, for your office. So, and again, like just look at the scale of this, right? You walk around, it seems to never end. Now going up to the third floor, uh, I was met by this huge choice of walkie talkies. And I don't know what that is all about, whether there's maybe a scene of people who use this kind of walkie talkie communication. I know that in England, some people do that, right? They are passionate about walkie talkie stuff. Uh, and then here on the left-hand side, this is something I hadn't seen in the previous times I was here. Streamer needs, right? Streamer microphones, streamer ring lights and all that stuff. Because you got to understand, places like this adapt really, really quickly to trends like that. And when I was last time in China, four or five years ago, this streamer trend wasn't as big. So you wouldn't see streamer utensils. Now it's a huge thing. Now you see here speakers and all that, a whole separate section for speakers. And the story behind that is mostly uh, people use it for karaoke. You see it here on the left-hand side as well. People have karaoke stations in their home. It's huge in China as it is in, in most other Asian countries. Um, so what you would do is you buy this huge speaker with a built-in set of songs, a small screen where you can select them, and two microphones so you can basically bring the karaoke party to your home. See it here on the left-hand side as well. These are karaoke stations. Um, and it's interesting because I spoke to friends of mine in China and they said four or five years ago, people before COVID, people would still all go to these karaoke bars. That would be the place you go to, you meet, you drink with your friends. Now the trend has shifted a little bit, right? Now people do these parties in their home. They buy karaoke stations and, and do it in their home rather than outside in bars. Now we have entered the PC gaming section. And let me explain to you how this works. If you want to buy a PC, a gaming PC in China, you come to a place like that and you can see all these booths around us that you see now have little tables with chairs around them. And what happens is, and I did this with my father-in-law four or five years ago, 
you go, you sit down with a customer representative, right? Someone who knows about PCs. And then you go through the specs. So you say, you know, I want, this is my budget and I want a high-end high gaming PC. So then they tell you, you should have this CPU, so you should have this board, this much RAM, that speed, this graphics card. And you go through the specs, right? You agree on the specs. And look at all these different cases, right? It's pretty cool. Some of them look like freaking motorcycles. I think that's it's pretty sweet. So you choose the case, you choose all the hardware components and then you go and come back four or five hours or a day later and they will build that custom PC just for you according to the price and everything that has previously agreed upon. Okay, so that's how you do it. I love walking around this place because not only are people building PCs everywhere and you have these cabinets with all the graphics cards and, you know, cases you can look at and people were really friendly, like the lady you just saw here on the left, you know, she smiled at me and she was happy that I'm actually filming. Uh, so... I was positively surprised that not a single person was like, hey, you can't film here. People were actually quite happy uh, that I walked around and captured everything, it seemed like. So then going up to the third floor, you're greeted by the DJI, DJI booth, uh, which is the huge, massive, and, and very popular also in the United States, drone manufacturer from China. So you can see a very, very Apple Store-esque uh, presence. They have their very clean store, but they get kind of the prestige place uh, as you enter the, the fourth floor. Now, this floor, the top floor, is all just dedicated to photography, or for the most part. I mean, DJI is drones, but it's also, I guess, part of the photography world. So, big cameras for filming, big TVs, you know, big Canon cameras, professional, uh, you know, cameras that you can buy. And I guess that this is only shown in the top floor, where the f very few customers will actually go shows that there's also a shift in China uh, of people not buying these professional cameras so much anymore because everyone's got high-end uh, cameras in their phones. So there's definitely that shift you can notice. But I went back down third floor to show you guys a bit more of the PC gaming area because I felt like that is that is where it's at, uh, right? That's the most interesting, interesting part. And it's not just that people are building PCs. There were also like lots of people refurbishing PCs, so taking them taking them apart, dusting off old motherboards. And I don't know, is this a Call of Duty ad or do they just use the artwork? I don't know. But as you walk around, it's just a great vibe. I love it because everyone's like testing, you know, hardware, putting it together, dusting it off, putting it back together again and testing frames. And it's just a real cool, vibrant PC gaming vibe uh, in this area. And since I've been here for the first time, I really love it. I think it's real fun to walk through it and I always wanted to capture it. Uh, so here, here's kind of my take on it. And the whole thing just really feels like one big PC hardware workshop, right? Which is something uh, that I uh, really appreciate. And you do have other slightly more obscure shops as well. Like for example, uh, check out, this is me by the way, check it out. This is how I walked around, <laughs> completely masked up. But I mean, check it out. There's like a Logitech store here. And the next one is a store for um, CD-ROMs, for, for burning DVDs and CDs. And it's like, why does this shop still exist? Who is still burning CDs in 2023? Like I p built my PC six years ago and that already did not even have a DVD drive anymore. So you also discover these little obscurities uh, in these kind of places, which is just really, really cool uh, in my opinion. It's not just the, the PC building crowd. So yeah, I think this gives you guys a little bit of an overview of the place and of how people build and buy gaming PCs in China. I saw the Shure logo, so I went in, wanted to check whether they have the SM7B, couldn't find it. This mural that you see on the left just now was also hand-painted, right? So I think one of the people who work there is probably an artist, and they're like, can I please just paint <laughs> a mural? So these were great, great stuff. And then here, like, also these gaming cafe environments almost, where I guess you can come and sit down and game with your friends if you pay the money in the rock booth here on the right hand side the alienware booth both of these slightly nicer finished and they are branded right and, and they give you a slightly upper class experience compared to the other ones so to be honest guys i think i'm pretty lucky it's lunchtime and the place is pretty empty so people don't even recognize me as someone who's different or someone who's recording some people spoke to me some people were like hey hey I just smiled at them and moved on. <laughs> uh, so, but anyway, it should be fine. Uh, nobody really got upset or angry, so I hope, I hope I get away with it. 
I'm still missing. It's like consoles, right? Where's the PlayStation part? Where's the Nintendo part? Maybe Xbox. I have no idea. Um, I feel like now I'm kind of always almost in like a back remote part of it. Like, look behind me is like a supermarket, right? They're selling groceries right there. So I'm gonna have another stroll around. Gonna try to see if I can find some more console stuff. Put my head down. Hide that, that blonde hair. Okay. Let's, let's keep walking, guys. So this is back at the ground floor because we hadn't looked at that at all. And uh, I kind of just skipped it. But now that I was looking for consoles, I thought, well, might as well check the ground floor. Maybe that's where there's a big Nintendo store or some Sony big flagship PlayStation thing. That wasn't the case. But look what I found. A small booth and there's a PS5, some Series S in the background, some Switches there, you know. So that was the only place in the whole mall that I found where they're selling consoles. I was slightly confused by it. Maybe you can tell me in the comments why that's the case. But that was what it is. Woo! We made it, guys. Made it outside. In one piece. I feel some people got a bit upset. Some people were just trying to sell me PCs. Only that small shop you saw it that was selling PlayStation and Nintendo stuff. I mean, to be honest, I was here a few years ago and it seems like it always was like that. Uh, consoles, I don't know if they're not that big here or if it has to do with them kind of being semi-banned. You can buy a Nintendo Switch. We saw it in the other mall. There was the PlayStation Store right there selling Nintendo Switches. But I feel like the emphasis is much more on PC gaming. You could see it, loads of PC gaming booths, but not much console stuff. The Chinese won't know what's up, bro. Who wants a console on it? Like, let's be, no, 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 I'm joking. You want a console, doing a PS5 giveaway. I have to pretend at least, I have to pretend that I'm a console fan. <laughs> anyway, <coughs> I think the, um... oh wait, there's a whole downstairs floor. I'm just seeing that now. Damn, okay. I think we need to explore that as well. Maybe the PlayStations are hidden in the basement. Let's go. Yeah, so I don't know what I expected, um, but it seemed like the basement that you see here was not connected. It's funny, look, a cabinet full with old cameras. It was not connected to the main mall. You could, I guess, take the staircase, but there wasn't a lot there. It really seemed like just um, like an aggregation of the other floors combined. Some camera stuff, some laptops, even one Nintendo Switch, you saw it there. Some PC building booths, very small, um, so wasn't really worth going through it but i had to explore it right i had to check that i'm not missing anything for you guys right there was nothing in the basement it's just a bunch of phones and cameras and a mixture of all the other floors cramped into a small sad basement really so we made it out guys we've explored the whole thing uh it was exciting i loved it i love it to walk through there every single time uh, a bit weird that there's not more consoles but that's cool maybe someone who's chinese is actually watching this and you could explain to me why that is the case, why we don't get more Nintendos, Playstations and Xboxes and all that kind of stuff. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little breakdown of the technology mall in Xi'an. If you did smash the like button, you can see that I'm risking my life here basically to bring you these kind of images. Uh, no, I'm not. I'm not really. Okay, I don't want to don't get this wrong impression. But again, I hope you enjoyed it. Join the Discord, links in the description. Smash like, subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you in the next one. I'm out, bye.